Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ben Irwin and every week on my show I ask a question that I am curious to find the answer to. This episode is about our pets and why they are good for us. Now, since this is YouTube, I have to assume that some of you are here to see cute furry animals. So for the duration of this episode on my video board back here, I'll, de I'll be desperately attempting to boost my viewership by displaying pictures of the cute and cuddly for you to ooh and ah over. So, if the there was any shameless ploy of mine to get you to watch my show, this is it. So, since this show is about pets, I'd like to introduce you all to the uh, official Ben Irwin Show Studio Kitty. Everyone say hello to Jewel. She's uh, she's a little nervous, but she likes laser pointers. She likes cuddling with my toes and making rub rubs on my leg. Should probably not call it rub rubs, but any rate, let's get to the show. See you, Jewel. So let's get right into the facts about pet ownership. A 2008 study found that almost half of those surveys surveyed regarded their pets as companions, while 2% identified their critters as property, which I think is a testament to the strength of the human-animal bond in our American society. Damn. It's so beautiful. Yes, it was concluded that pets help alleviate loneliness in humans and are revered for their unconditional love. But I must say that the, my experience tells me that this unconditional love thing is false. You know, sometimes baby kitty here needs a little discipline, so I I just get Mr. Water here and pop her right between the eyes. And, you know, she'll be pissed at me for like 10 minutes, and then she'll go back to being her happy-go-lucky self. But, yeah, for the most part, their love is unconditional. But getting back to the study, they also found that our pets reduce stress and our blood pressure. Do you know someone with Alzheimer's disease? I do, so I'm gonna hook that crazy bastard up with a cat or a dog. I mean, there's also the exercise component, especially with dog owners. All pets need exercise and attention, and taking your furry friend out for a walk is a great way to keep your critter and yourself in shape. So you have the emotional and the physical connections. So why is this so? Biologist Erica Friedman, a professor at the University of Maryland School of Nursing, says that it's providing a focus of attention that's outside of someone's self. They're actually letting you focus on them, you know, the pets, rather than focusing inward on yourself all the time. Another fun fact of the study found that 97% of pet owners talk to their pets, which, you know, I guess would make us all seem crazy, and it... Damn it, Joel, you can't be doing that while I'm taping an episode here. Mr. Water, hey, I think I'm in the majority. But, you know, of course, there are exceptions to these rules. People with allergies should not have pets. People without the mental capacity to care for one should not have pets either. And for anyone out there, this study also concludes that one or two pets, you know, will do it. You don't need more. I'm looking at you, crazy cat lady. In fact, in a Ben Irwin show first, I made a nice visual aid to help argue my case. This is a flowchart of a crazy cat lady. At the top, we start with a question that many crazy cat ladies and people ask themselves, that is, am I happy? Of course, this is a straightforward yes or no question. Now, considering your present number of cats, if you answered yes, then you've reached the end. But, now this is key, if you answered no, as you can see here, the crazy cat lady will then desire more cats and then the process repeats itself, which is unhealthy. So there you have it. That's a peek inside the mind of a crazy cat person. But you know, more than the ideal blend of critters means more work, and most likely more stink on yourself and in your place. But if you think you'd be a good caretaker of a critter, you know, get one. Do your research though before you do. Also, adopt or rescue one. That's what I did, and I do not condone pet shops or puppy mills, or anything of that sort. But, you know, that's, that's a whole other episode. So, you know, that's the show. I hope you enjoyed it, and all the cutesiness behind me. So, until next week, follow me on Twitter, at Benjamin Irwin, and I hope to see you for a new episode on Tuesday. You know, Jules hanging out down here, and, you know, she sends everyone in the audience happy poops. So, I'll see you next week. Late.